Hmm. <sighs> Make some art. Uh, pretty good. Another one. Another one. Huh. Ears. Can't forget ears. And then it's a real person. Now that's... Maybe I'll go sit down at my desk now, though. So I made it back to my desk. And I'm, first of all, I want to address the question. The, is it clickbaity to put a question in a YouTube video title? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But I did pose this question. Must art have an objective? And I want to address that first of all. Perhaps a question that I'm not at all qualified uh, to answer. But I wanted to get your opinion on it and give a couple thoughts on it. First of all, I do get asked this a lot um, in the YouTube comments and you know when I live stream my drawings. Peter, did you plan this out or do you just make it up as you go? And I do make it up as I go because in my mind, it's I, I go at it with the, the doodle philosophy, right? I just start and I just kind of add to it and go with the flow, which has its ups, it has its downs, uh, but that's how I do it. And I, it's just because that's how I started drawing. I started doodling in class when I was bored, stuff like that. And that's kind of how my art started and grew. That was the seed that was planted and it sprouted up out of there. And so in my head, even though maybe it doesn't look like your normal boarding class doodles, that's what it kind of still is in the back of my head. There are lots of different ways to go about art though, which is one of the reasons art is so beautiful to me. There also is maybe on the other second or third side of the coin, there is something called non-objective art, which there is even a, a Wikipedia article about. I looked up the Wikipedia article just to see if it existed. I didn't give it the, the, the honor of reading it, which maybe I should have. But basically, my brief understanding of it is that it's just art that isn't supposed to look like anything in particular, you know, like, you know, Kandinsky or whatever. That's a guy, right? It, you know, usually just mushy shapes and geometric nonsense and maybe my doodles. Are my doodles non objective art? You can either not have an objective and still arrive at something that looks like something, or you can plan it out and carefully, very carefully, with much forethought and pre-sketching and just all sorts of carefulness, arrive at something that doesn't look like anything. But does anything really look like nothing? I don't think so. Our human minds are great at pulling out little resemblances and, and uh, likenesses. People see faces everywhere. We're, we're great at seeing patterns, which is just saying this looks like the thing next to it and the thing next to it. But, I don't know, I've totally lost my way in this, this discussion. Basically what I'm trying to say is no, I don't plan my drawings out. Um, but, and no, I don't think you have to, but yes, it's okay if you do. Um, and no, it doesn't matter if you arrive anywhere concrete and yes, it's okay if you do or don't either way. Like, that's why I like, like I said, that's why I like art so much. Cause you can either take, take a, a pre, pre planned route and arrive somewhere in particular or go off in a field and arrive nowhere in particular or arrive in at a, it, it doesn't matter, do whatever you want. 
get there or don't by any way you want. I'd like to take this moment to formally apologize because I feel like there's no way anyone understands what I'm saying right now because I hardly understand what I'm saying right now. All the shower thoughts, they seem so concise, precise, and clear-cut until you try saying them out loud. Anyways, a little bit of self-critique here, looking back at this drawing after it was done. Um, I like the details, I like the lines, I like the act of making them, but it's just really, ultimately, this drawing is just a big blob, right? It's just a big lump sitting on the paper. It's a very detailed lump. There are a few artistic aspects, you know, like composition, depth, uh, you know, shading or whatever. And But sometimes you concentrate on one too much and another one kind of falls off a little. But just because it's not there doesn't mean it's bad art. Like nobody would probably, I mean, you could if you wanted to, you know, go up to Keith Haring's art and be like, you need a little bit more depth in your drawing. Look, it's just like one bold line. Where's all the where's all the vanishing points and perspective in your art, Keith? Right? It's just like it's art. I mean, you're allowed to make critiques if you want to, but ultimately, it's just art. And uh, there you go. It's just there on the paper, and you look at it, and you like it, or you don't. Maybe a lot more people would like Keith Haring's stuff if it had vanishing points and if he shaded his lines. But he did what he did, and there it is. All right, I don't know what I'm saying, so goodbye. Love you guys. Have a good day.